Hello friends, welcome again. And uh, this is my new project for Nature Store Manual System. And I have developed this project in Java, Spring Boot, and Angular. And database I'm using the MySQL. On the Spring Boot site, I'm using the JPA Hypernet and Tomcat version 7. I'm using for running this project. MySQL version is 5.6, Angular version is 1.7. For ID for Spring Boot development, I am using STS Spring Boot tool suites for developing the backing part means the spring boot part for angular side i'm using the visual studio code right so these all technology stacks i have used for developing this project and the project title is furniture store management system right so let's say start with the functionality go to what are the features available in the side of project what are the modules available here right so the project title is furniture store management system it's a mini project which has only and only admin login. There is no customer operations available inside of this project. We have implemented only admin functionalities, right? It's the main objective of this project is to manage a furniture shop. So once you run this project, you will get this uh, login page. Here you need to enter your user ID and password. Once you enter your user ID and password, and once you click on the login, you will get this home page, right? So this is the dashboard. It will be rendered only and only after the login, right? So these are the operations which admin can perform. So let me go through one by one, right? So these ball menu options are available here also, right? Once you click on the start sale, it will ask your user customer name and mobile number, right? So anything you can enter here, the folder to Kumar and Vector Mobile anything right once you click on the start sale you will get the self dashboard right it has complete features for selling a product right so you can see the order id has been generated order date has been generated customer name and customer mobile number you can select the product here and the quantity once you click on the add item then that item will item will be added into the cart so this is a cart right so you can see right so if you have added two items suppose if you want to add one so right so all the costs are calculating automatically right if you want to delete any item just click on the delete button then you can see the cost has been adjusted right so once you complete all of the orders you just click on save sales details right once you click on save sales details then the whole information of this page will be saved inside the database right you can see the information of that page has been saved inside the database right and you can print this receipt clicking on the print receipt section right it will be printed this page will be printed from the corrected printer so this is the start sales part this is a order report so all of the cells which you have made earlier so this is the sales history right so you can see this is the last sales history of 106 orders once you click on this arrow icon you will be able to see the details of that sales this is a product report all of the product which is available in the database will be displayed here so this is the CRUD application of the project you can perform create read update and delete for the project if you want to edit any project product just click on the edit and after that you can update the details here right if you want to delete just click on the delete button that item will be deleted this is a order report this is a product report this is an add product if you want to add any of the product you can add from here right you can add any number of product from this page this is a company company right so you can add the company but so all of the company uh, details will be displayed here in the drop down right so select company there are two types of drop down and both are dynamic the value of this drop downs are coming from the database this is a company report uh, sorry uh, category report right you can see these are the category of the uh, product right so you can manage the category from here you can add more category from here and the logout once you click on the logout your all session will be destroyed and you will not be able to access these pages right because these are the session restricted so once you click on the logout you can see you have redacted to the login page and if you log in if you want to log in again, just click on the login button, you will be redirected to the 
admin page right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project and as i told you earlier this is a furniture store management system developed in angular spring boot and mysql on the spring boot side we are using the jpa right so if you need any enhancement in this project if you need extra features in this project just put it into the comments i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest classes thanks for watching the video thank you very much